my name is Ariel Molina and I'm a Senior Director of Software Engineering and Enterprise Architecture here at Carnival Cruise Lines. Performance, availability is key really to our primary business outcome here at Carnival. We've been on this journey uh, on the dot-com side of the world for many, many years. So we've had multiple iterations of multiple tools. The degree to which we operationalized the tool was always a challenge. Configuration, false positives, too many alerts. There was always a gap with the tools that we had in the past in that we never really obtained the value that we were looking for. There was a real positive buzz about the capabilities of Dynatrace, and that led to an internal POC that ultimately proved this value right away. The AI ultimately really is focused on the primary outcomes of, of the systems that we support. It's now getting closer to the actual outcomes, which is conversion. And what that does really, it creates an environment where our support staff can now focus on insights instead of false positives and mining through alerts. It focused really on the outcomes and, and enables those outcomes ultimately through insights connecting the dots internally to ultimately assess how important or how critical this particular issue is. Dynatrace for the first time is able to lead with that front and center and say, you're having a particular conversion problem. So the connecting of the dots, that correlation, it really is an example of AI. It's probably the first that I've actually seen in this space and in a lot of different spaces that actually has an impact. What cloud is enabling for us is really the evolution of our architecture. What that actually means specifically is our applications are going from single deployable, what is termed as a monolith, to more segmented applications. I think when you correlate cloud and the value proposition of Dynatrace, it's that, right? It's the fact that architectures are evolving to be more segmented and Dynatrace is able to keep up with that segmentation through this self-configuration. It's one of the main reasons why we really are a big fan of Dynatrace. What we're doing with tools like Dynatrace, it's really, we test flight our deployment and we measure against a baseline before we release it to the broader audience. That's a fantastic use case for something like Dynatrace, right? To be able to compare a new build versus a prior build and be able to assess specifically any changes as they relate to performance. Ultimately, the cloud is all about performance and scalability for us, right? Absolutely, Dynatrace needs to be part of that journey for us, really to baseline and confirm the gains that we expect from a scalability and performance point of view. The level of visibility that we have these days to, into the performance of our website, more so than we've ever had in the past, is really, and Dynatrace's role in that, is really helping us feel more confident about that cloud migration.